Alrighty, do 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 ba ba. What language was that? Started as English and quickly evolved into some. I don't even know what dialect. I couldn't even tell you what continent that would originate from, or what era. Maybe it's it's from the future. Let's just pretend it's the future language of Earth. A un a unit united standardized earth language everybody speaks it it's not gonna be english or like or mandarin or or anything like that no it's gonna be the doo-doo language anyways hello i am foxman and we are playing uh prison architect foxman plays prison architect uh episode number five this is episode number five uh i actually need to catch myself up with what uh what's going on here i spent a bit of time making kind of like an off-camera prison of massive proportions, just like gargantuan in scope. Basically, I'm trying to find a decent formula and, and, and layout for, like, the best prison, the most well-behaved and the best, you know, reform rate and all that stuff. It's going to take me a while, um, but anyways, you know, anytime you start a, a prison... Uh, or how multiple prisons sometimes you kind of lose any points of reference but what I can tell you that I remember is yeah we started building a new wing here to uh, get us up to the hundred hundred uh, inmate capacity so this will accommodate it uh, we don't really have much money um, we're getting back back on the money train I spent a lot of it obviously, to keep things real. Uh, this isn't the world's finest prison, but I think it's it's pretty decent. People are liking it. Um, doing all right on the education reform. I think, uh, well, let me double check. We've actually got a guy in the GED. Uh, no, not in uh, programs. There we go. What is with the or? This is weird. This is we. This is weird. Oh, the update. I was like, what the freaking freak is going on? Um. Interesting. This is interesting. Why is my canteen protective? Oh, no, no, that's not the canteen. Alcoholics therapy group. Why? It's... Okay, this kind of makes a... Sort of, this is helping me. Because before I was wondering, like, why are people not, like, actually... Uh, going into some of these programs. So uh, this is Alpha 26. I didn't even kind of test think to test it out before uh, beforehand. Uh, mostly because it's like a bug, a bug bash. Like every month they do an update to the alphas, but they kind of alternate between features and just like you know bashing bugs. So we can see here um, in these uh, different programs, they kind of do the color coding to tell you uh, what security clearance the room is where the program is held so the pharmaceutical treatment of drug addiction is being held in this infirmary because it's orange um, the alcoholics group therapy is being held in this common room instead of this one so I'm trying to figure that one out uh, and it's also a little concerning because you can see this is my protective custody area. And yet I've got a medium security dude and a maximum security dude here. And same, well, the foundation education, uh, I had both of these as orange. You know, if I put them back up like that, there's still a maximum security dude, the red one there. So, that, I mean, to me, that's actually a little bit concerning because I don't want non-protective custody dudes in my protective custody wing. That doesn't make any sense. What if I hit start on an... 
Oopsies, I stopped, <laughs> I accidentally stopped the one that had dudes in it. But, uh, okay, let me just double check to make sure. So, led by a psychologist in a common room. Session length, two hours. Each prisoner requires a chair. Referral alcoholism. Hmm. Student, sit, repeatable, easy. See, that's what I don't get. I got some chairs here. This is a common room. You know, it's not bound by walls, but maybe that's... In a common room. They spell removes the need wrong. Removes is spelled wrong. Maybe it's just because it is defined. You know? This is not defined. Let's let's just I'm gonna do a a quick little dealio here, see what happens. Let's just test this out. Alright. That does make a difference somehow. Um you cannot have shared apparently. This orange guy goes in that one though. Huh. It seems that's odd. Maybe now, though, because the red guys aren't in that one. I gotta figure this out. I mean, this is not. Uh, our prison is far from ideal right now. Um, this is interesting. Behavioral therapy, psychologist in an office. Did I, uh, where's my office? It was this one. Behavioral therapy. Let's just see what that does now. Five and Q. I wish they would tell me who's in Q. Let me try something. Let's, uh, Let's change this to, because behavioral therapy, maybe it's like, how many uh, maximum security dudes do we actually have? Prisoners. Five. It could just be all the maximum security dudes, because they came in as normal risk, so they've got a behavioral issue. Let's try this. And I'm just going to do this again. And now let's try the programs. Uh, stop. Stop. Behavioral therapy. Oh. Yeah. Say what? Say what again, motherfucker? I dare you. I dare you. So before they weren't going in there because it was marked as uh, medium security. But now that I mark it as, as the, the maximum security, that's good. Although I still wish when it, like if I clicked two and Q, I could it would say like, you know, maximum security, yo, or I don't need to know specifically who. But even they could put a little legend here. So instead of saying just like two and Q, they could put a little red block, say two and Q, for that, and then like one and Q for medium or like super, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, pharmaceutical. Oh yeah, again, that's that's in the infirmary here. What if I start another one? It seems to... Since I have two infirmaries, actually, they're going at the same time. Although, and then it's going to do that. And then it's going to do that. So there's no point having... the maximum security. All right, that's interesting. Can I start another one? Uh, I'll shut you down, shut you down, I'll just shut you down. I mean, that does eat a fair bit into our thing, so I might actually not do this one for one dude. Yeah, screw that guy. 
Um, five and Q for the... This is the common room thing again. So we actually need to define an area for the common room so that we can have a, a program. It can't be a shared area, which is kind of nice. I like that because now it's going to be like... Um a better way to make sure that I'm not getting maximum security dudes and minimum security dudes. Like I have that level of comfort. Anyway, sorry if I'm kind of getting a little cuckoo. This I imagine, well, wait a minute. Cause that's just, watch this. Let's do it again. Where's the workshop? All right, so maybe it's, uh, who is the, who's the punk? Who's the punk? One interested, they must be doing something else. They must be busy. All right, that's, f I mean, that's fine. Also, up to 61% of that, whereas actually over here, 73%. Have 15 prisoners pass the foundation. I'm getting up there. All right, that's cool. One is interested in this. I don't know why he's not. All right, that worked. <laughs> I just opened up another another classroom, and he's like, "No, screw that. I want the I want the original classroom." All right. So okay, now that's opened up to two people. Still, I don't know what the deal is. That's fine. I'm gonna keep these as is for now. Um, common room, I want to do this, the five guys, it makes a big difference having five less dudes uh, needing alcohol, if they pass that is, um, that's nice though, alright, so that's one of the things in this whole bug bash, there's a few other things, I read the dev log, but I've, I've already kind of, you know, forgotten a few things, but a lot of it's just like, silly things like, food, warping around and I don't even know um, just weird behavioral things that shouldn't happen but they do anyways uh, one quick thing before I forget no nope. uh, this guy's up to 13% good job John Osborne these guys are having a good time uh, let me just quickly check my deployment again <sighs> I really want to just start like the super prison actually sooner. The more I'm in this prison and then I think about the other prison I started, I'm just all like, Ooh, come on, let me, give me the big monies. But I got to be a little patient. I don't even know how much we could sell this piece of garbage for right now. Uh, where's our finance? Not finance, valuation. So 270. I mean, that's not a lot. Uh, but this is like a first, uh, what do you call it? First generation prison. So each, with each generation you go on, like, I mean, it's, you sell them for more and more and more. Um, but we can do a lot of work on this bad boy. So, money. How are we going to make money? First of all, I'm just going to do this. Uh, we need to accept more prisoners. That's pretty plain and simple to me right now. We're at 48 out of 81 capacity. So do that. Uh, I want to start a forestry pretty soon. That's going to be netting some good uh, some good money. I'm thinking if I were able to buy just this area up here, because it's kind of closer to this woodworking shop, I can uh, move this cleaning cupboard somewhere else and just have a little hallway and then like a gate or something and a big fence around there and then dudes could go cut down their trees and shit and then make fancy nice beds and things from the wood uh, that's good if you know turning the raw materials into into products increases the value drastically um, and you can see actually here I took on the carpentry apprenticeship program like a dummy because I don't have any guys that are even trained in the carpentry yet I'm not a, I don't even think there are any guys that are willing or interested to go into learning that mumbo jumbo so you know whatever we'll get there uh this little blinking is pissing me the heck off let me just double check our generator generators uh i can stack on 
some more capacitors so I'm gonna want to do that but for these lights I should hopefully be okay oh wait huh insufficient funds we really need to get on some grants I don't I don't, I don't think I have the ability to take it alone because I don't like loans uh, I guess I can <sighs> but I still don't need to let's just uh, wait a little bit in 10 hours we're gonna have some more prisoners and we'll be fine with that let me just double check what are we exports should be going up I don't know why they're not look at these guys this is Northern Lion. Tim Osborne, are you John Osborne's brother? The the confidential informant? Also, Tupac. I miss him already. I missed him immediately. He's a good guy. I loved him. Loved him like a brother from another mother. Uh, seven families waiting to visit. Eight prisoners arriving for seven hours. So some staff are exhausted. Tell me something I don't know. What else do we have? I'm just looking. Let's look at our supply and demand. There's like no demand for weapons. So why are you supplying so much? There's demand for tools, but there ain't gosh darn no supply. That makes me happy. Because, you know, we got... Oh, son of a bitch. Are you serious? No, I mean, I've got metal detectors going into the cells, so it's not the end of the world, but I still feel like, um, of course I have insufficient funds. Fuck. Uh, I removed the metal detector from there by, uh, ac not by accident, I wanted to fix this hallway, it was a little askew last time, so, anyways, I'll put one there. Uh, narcotics still a big thing. Luxuries that I don't really care about. I mean, maybe I should, but I don't. Not right now. Let them live a little. Hygiene. Uh, well, what time is it? It is in the middle of the night. So when they wake up, they're going to be freaky fresh. That's fine. Let's go back to needs. Bowels. Clothing. Drugs is actually, it's going, it's still going down. Uh, alcohol's not because I, I still need to get this whole proper common room surrounded by walls and stuff and and uh, defined deployment or security clearance. So that should go down a bit. But I'm, I'm glad at least the drugs are are going down. You gotta, you know, pick your battle. Dudes are pretty... S I'm liking this. Look at comfort, environment, privacy, freedom... Freedom, America, and safety. Safety comes first. These are some good things. You're always going to have bladder, bowels, sleep, and food are going to be generally going up. But then they'll go down. As long as you can get them down each day. You know, I'm fine with, with medium. You know, we could have more meals a day, something like that. But then we might start screwing around with their free time or privacy environment. Who knows what. You get what I'm saying? You heard? Whoa! Alright, good. Exports going up a little bit. Uh, we just got some more prisoners. I should have checked. Let's pause it. I said let's pause it. Some of them have already, most of them have already gone in. This guy. He's not a snitch, Paul Locke. What about this guy? Also, I, knew, I learned a new thing. Uh, if you're hovering over an area with many objects and sometimes you can't like really like if it's like one directly over another and you can't like click on the one behind it you really want just hover and then just press the tab button and it's going to alternate between the things in your um that your cursor is kind of hovering over so that's nice uh ed crouch all right seth fauti what kind of name is Fouty? I hope he doesn't get pouty about his stupid name. <laughs> he would. Uh, reputation. Who knows? Alright. Reputation. Who knows? Yeah, of course you feel suppressed. You're handcuffed. That's what happens. Anyways. 
Nothing too crazy there. Although I'm going to get my informant working. Everybody's working for the weekend. Uh, I kind of want, like, uh, some snitches and ex-cops just so I can at least put up one dude in this glorious paradise. Been spending most our lives living in a gangster's paradise. Work. Why is this guy... Who let the dog out during work? Who? You know, if I change this to... Um... Hmm. I, I just don't want dudes opening this shit. I don't want them going in there during work. Free time I don't care about. I want them to be in the areas that I specify. So I've got to, I got to, maybe that's something we have to do. If we go to utilities, there's like logic circuits and, and, and bridges. Um, advanced architects only. A simple circuit box that performs a logical operation based on its inputs and sets its output accurately. Or accordingly, sorry. Uh, available operations and or not NAND nor ZOR. Uh, right click the cycle through logical operations and then the logic bridge takes its incoming signal and bridges it onto electrical cable uh, installed in the same square that electrical cable will carry the signal to any logic circuits installed on the same electrical cable can be used to broadcast a common single all around your prison example useful to pass around a common clock signal I'm confused Basically, I just don't want the remote door dude to open this shit for prisoners or inmates when it's not yard time. I only want them in here when it's yard. Pure and simple. So, I mean, I could remove the connection to the door control system. But then, it would also mean that since this is a jail door guards can just walk up and let people in there so really the only option I have is like using a remote door and connecting it to the servo and not connecting the remote door to the door control system so and the servo connected only to a timer that's the only thing I can think of but then like gardeners and stuff can't go into the yard um, unless it's during yard time. But then I don't want gar gardeners, like, cleaning up stuff during yard time. I want them to clean it, uh, you know, anytime. But, basically, I guess maybe work. But I still don't want this open to the general people during work. Oh, what do these guys do? Dancing? What are you doing? They, uh, are they doing the thriller? But guys, it, Halloween's tomorrow. I guess technically by the time this video goes up, it'll be today. What the shit was that? <laughs> were they actually cleaning? Because when they were doing their freaky dance, they didn't have their shit. This guy looks scared. You should be, he little bitch. Scott White. He's about to have Scott poop in his pants. Scott poop underwear. Anyways. That was a weird way to clean. Um, but okay. How are our new dudes setting it? Actually, let's, uh, deployment. Not deployment, contraband. Let's just get this guy reporting to me. Let's see if he's found anything. Anything recently. Not really. I don't see any interesting stuff going on. Guards are okay. We've got like nine available. Ten available now. That's a good sign. What are you... Oh, he's, the, he's like, why are you bringing him in here? He's an inmate. But he's the confidential informant. Thanks, dude. So while he's doing that, is it going to actively be updating this stuff? That's something I'd like to know. Oh. There we go. Let's search these. 
search this cell. He's telling me about these weapons. This is nice. Because, um... I, I I do like to do searches, full-on shakedowns, but I'm, I think I'm just going to start doing my routine of, like, doing one cell block a night kind of thing. And then ro rotating it every night. And then that way you're not pissing off too many dudes, and you're also not having to, like, take up too much time. Oh, look at his suspicion. You are going to get knife, John Osborne. That's okay not really okay but you guys why don't you become confidential informants join our club yes yes join our club what are you complaining about now working position cannot be reached that is good I don't think I've seen that quite before um, which is useful maybe if you guys totally like didn't have all this shit in the way that might help that is probably not going to help to be honest but maybe I just need to move it I want to move it move it I want to move it move it or maybe this camera is kind of in the way somehow who knows alright look All right, this is tasty good our days without incident 2500 you know 1100 for exports again that's still pretty low but uh, we got some grants for the max security and standard prisoner and federal grant all that good stuff what's going on up valuation still 27 or 270 thou this guy I feel like there's something going on Uh, but I don't, I don't really understand. Why is he just staying there? Scott White. You got an issue? Here's a tissue. Here's what we're going to do. Solitary for six hours. Sorry, dude. But I don't know what else to say. You should be living it up. Living a via loca. That, that'll that get him back in, into the swing of things. Uh, I need to make some money really soon. Basically, I'm just sitting here with my thumb up my butt. These guys. Let's check our programs again. That is a good way to kind of save some money. Behavioral therapy, though. Look at this dude going along. Going, chugging along. Which one is, is That's Ward? Ward, buddy. I'm proud of you. That g oh, nice, nice bandana thingy, or whatever you call that. Is your name? Ma I thought his name was Macaroon for a second, and I was about to eat him. All right, this is weird. There we go. There you go. I don't like having empty classes because it's a waste of money. Workshop. Let's see if people actually. Come on, boys. It mm, it's gotta be the maximum security. Kitchen. And that, of course. No, I can't have them going in in PC. That's silly. The game shouldn't even allow that. Although, technically, until I have PC. No. No. I'm just going to keep that. There's a new dude in there. And you do not want to be a CI. Actually, contraband informant. Let's close this. Any snitches? Anybody mocked for death? Other than the CI, probably. That guy's deadly. Oh yeah, Macaroon is going into his little his little powwow. Good on you, bite. Bite? I called him bite. Instead of good on you, might, I said good on you, bite. Okay. See, we're making money, but we're still not making money. Our cash flow is high, but we're, we're still losing monies. 
I think what I could do, let's check out our staff. We could probably cut down on some staff. You know, we've got 11 out of 20 free guards because I got a fair amount of, of, uh, you're not even wearing a hat. Get in uniform. You're fired. <laughs> Get in uniform just so I can fire you. We've got 10 of, like, this, look at this horse shit. There we go. Let's fire. It's helping our cash a little bit. Uh, you're tired, Warden. Is that what you're telling me? I'm getting tired of your shit. I'm just gonna fire a couple of them. There we go. There we go. Everybody get up. Get out of this stupid screen, too. Alright, how many prisoners? We're up to 61. Let's take some, let's take some more in. We need money. Maybe, uh, God, I don't want to. I mean, I guess I could take a loan. Let's just take a freaking stupid. Whatever. Whatever. I mean, we'll pay it back pretty easily. Um, so, utilities. Let's do this. You guys can go and build that. My lovely workmen. My lovely humps. Lumps? Is it lumps or uh, humps or lumps or mumps? Which one is it? Is that guy a new dude? Hmm. Wait. Scott White. Oh, yeah, I put him in there. I feel a little, a little bad. I wouldn't be a confidential informant for an asshole who just put me in solitary. Uh... Let me see something. Let's do... No, it's too late in the night to search the cell block. It's fine. Also, before I forget, objects, metal detector, and put it right outside of the workshop. There you go. I'm just going to go off crazy with these stacks of sheet metal and the license plates. But that's okay. This is, this is okay. Why, though? Why is you can't store food outside? It's unsanitary. Do you understand that? I understand that, might. Okay, and we got... Let's pause it. Whoa! Did I say to bring that many prisoners? All right. Here's the first thing. Shut you off. Alright, he's fearless. Who knows? Wait, I should be looking at the names. Sean Marples. You got no marbles, Marples. Uh, Aaron Saunders. Whoa, this guy's got a lot of needs. He's very needy. Christopher Howell. Ooh, no reputation. Mr. Jean... Kislet trim. It's a little funny. You aren't sending me... Okay, he's a tough and he's an instigator. So here's what you get. Maximum security. You don't want instigators. Actually, if I had a super max, I'd probably put him in that. Just to show him. This guy's extremely strong. I don't know. I'm going to trust him for now. Don't... Stephen whore? Don't be a whore. Be an ore. Be strong. Be solid. Be helpful. Get people up shit creek. You could be their paddle. So when people are like, I'm up shit creek without a paddle. You'd be like, no. I'm your paddle, man. I'm your paddle. Alright, of course, accepting more inmates. We're, getting, we're making some more monies. And we make more monies, we get more honeys. That's what it's all about. Um, of course, now, I'm kind of wishing I didn't get... Oh, super stretch rid of some of those guards, but it's okay. We're fine. You know, uh, people talk about inmate to, to guard ratios. I don't know if you have uh, any suggestions or ideas or what your ratio is. Maybe drop it in the comments. I'd like to know. I've read some people say like five to one. I think that's a bit crazy. I would... I would... Uh, much prefer to have less than that. 
because they cost money. If I can if I can automate a lot of this stuff, like why not? It's upfront cost. Yeah, it's a little bit more, but in the long term or in the long run, it's the smart move. I feel. All right. This is bothering me a little bit. I don't know what you jabronis are doing. You're just uh, kind of just moving around in there. Should fire the lot of ya. Uh, four four twenty. Ha! <laughs> Everybody, toke it and blaze it. Blaze it and toke it. Uh, I've got a door here. I and I didn't. I put that door there at some point, not intentionally, but it happened. Sometimes that happens with this game. You go to kind of click away, and you forget you you were holding on to a door. People seem generally happy though. Yeah, let's do a. Where's my? Has uh, my informant? Seventeen percent. Let's activate him. Alex, you're a good boy. Actually, you're a man. You're 43 years old. I shouldn't call you a boy. That's insulting. What is? What's up with these guys? Hmm. This guy, tough instigator. He's already. See, I told you. What did you do? What did you do? Unless he's just getting put there. Oh, he was just getting put in his cell. They were just bringing him in. Ah, because it's like. Dude, I had a bad feeling about you. I hate to assume the worst. What's why is this guy like not in solitary? Why is he not? Why are you actually not? Why is the door not closed? Oh, because he's coming out of the closet. Now, uh, Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, Apple Inc or whatever the legal name is came out of the closet but honestly for years I, I thought like that already happened or not that he was like hiding or whatever but I thought there was like an announcement a while back like or it was just common knowledge but apparently like it it's not or it wasn't I don't, I don't really know um I mean it's good though I mean I think it's gonna help a lot of people I just for some reason like I was always like yeah he's gay like that's cool and then I see some articles, and people are like, oh, he came out of the closet. I'm like, what? Well, I thought that already happened. Apparently, I was wrong. Anyways, still cool. One in solitary. All right, here, let's, uh, let's get at you. Gosh, darn it. Nobody wants to be a, an, in, a snitch in here. Nobody. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna search this cell block. There we go. And we still have one guard available. That's been pretty good. I can dig it. Can you dig it? Sucker! Aw, oh, we're down to zero. It's okay. Yeah, we're, we're making some more money slowly. I mean, this helps. The digs without instant, I like that a lot. <laughs> 6,900. Uh, we need more exports, though. Come on, boys. Valuation's still the same. What do we do? Well, we haven't done anything for bricks. Bricks and mortar kind of fluxes a little bit. But we haven't added any infrastructure, fixtures, and fittings. Look at that. That's probably from, like, all the servos that I put in. Stock and materials, whatever. Staff. Prisoner capacity. I mean, uh, that's the thing about um, this here is I could build a prison with a capacity of, like, 200 or 500 and not actually have any prisoners in there and I'm still going to get that the grant for the capacity which is kind of nifty I suppose uh, we're slowly making some money here's what I'm going to do let's clone um, oh little, little auto save let's just do this actually let's just do so I want to include the uh, wait didn't 
I decide oh, I'm gonna have to like build this because I decided to do it like ass to ass so that the shower so let's just build it instead um I, unless you oh that'd be cool if you could like rotate the clones and and stuff like that but pretty sure you can't and if you can I would love to know somebody tell me so then I can tell other people and we can all talk about it let's go like that actually go like that let me go like that that's nice actually before I build a lot of stuff let's just go ahead and do the do just go like that and see the reason I don't want to put cells here the reason I want to reverse it is because there's this large pipe here and uh, eh, the prisoners will start tunneling out but they're not gonna why would you dig through dirt when you can just like dig a couple of blocks through dirt and then get in a pipe and then the pipe is kind of like an express route basically depending on where it is so I want a little buffer at least um, so that's why I'm doing the shower here and then there's kind of a, a few blocks buffer before this this big pipe but you you ideally want it as far away from the cells as you can uh, and then just have like these little pipes leading to the, the cells so this isn't the most effective design I've got going on here but uh, I'm fairly active with the shakedowns and stuff like that and trying to keep my guys um, happy enough and on a good enough regime that uh, they're not tunneling out and we need to get back into building some uh, what do we call them now perimeter walls perimeter walls but it's okay things are starting to turn around now uh, I'm just gonna check again our programs I wanna see so we got three guys in the GED program so that is a good chunk that's three of five dudes we need to pass Assuming they all pass. I mean, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Uh, I'm going to stop this behavioral therapy. So one is finished. He didn't pass. But, um... And it's... I had to see that's the thing. Uh, is it, it must be repeatable. The referral is violence. So... If this guy that failed goes and, and be violent again, are they going to... Are they gonna let him join? I mean, we'll find out. But anyways, it's yeah, at least they're trying. They're trying. Actually, it's not mandatory. Voluntary. It's it's mandatory. Nine and Q. All right, let's, let's see if we can fix this. All right, whatever. Let's just keep it like that. Twelve have passed. 34%. I feel that's uh, quite low. You know, I want at least above 50% for these things. Foundation, that's 61%. That's not too bad. It's good, though. All right, we're, we're looking. We're making some more money. So, let's do... A quick search there. And let me build some more of this... I, w I want to get the 100% or 100 prisoner capacity by the end of this video. That's my goal. Uh, and then other things. Well, you know, I'm going to do the forestry and all that stuff later. I can't do too much at one time right now because we're not making huge loads of cash just yet. I need to complete some of these, these dudes. Oh, let me double check just quickly. Is there anybody that wants to do the carpentry? No. Workshop. Start. Nice. So finally, some of these guys are getting in on that action. I reckon the other guys must be, must be, um, oh, another finished, but he failed. That's unfortunate. It's okay. They'll, you'll get there. You'll get there. Uh, alcoholics. Yeah, I still need to deal with that. Still got to deal with that. All right. I keep getting distracted. I want to just build this bullshit. 
So we are going to do the same design, just basically mirror it. Let's go. Just start a little smaller. Two. Two, Ralu, Ralu. Start with the good stuff, the walls, and we'll get some furniture. Oopsies. Oopsies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. And now I can mirror this bullshit over here. Oh, insufficient. Oh, walls are not cheap, man. It's fine. We're getting there. Mmm. You could put it in the shower. The shower heads are like 20 bucks a piece. Let's do that. Can I do all of these? Oh yeah, I can. Oh yeah. Let's put in these. A few of them anyways. They're 20 bucks a piece as well. But it's going to help. I like to put showers in the cells. I don't think you really need to, but during their free time they can go and do... Oh, hey, dude, you want to be a snitch? Oh no, you don't because you... Our bitch. Oh, what happened to my dude? Did he get out? Thirty-nine families waiting to visit. What? How? How? Hey. Her. That's a lot, man. I I mean I've got nine tables, so that's okay. But still, dude, 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 dude. This guy must have been released. I'm going to miss you, Alex. Because if I look at this incident, yeah. So he didn't get killed or anything. Unless he died of drug overdose, but I doubt that. Also, utilities. Dude, we forgot to do this. Dude. I can't wait for Bill and Ted's, like... Well, there's Excellent Adventure, then number two is Bogus Journey. I wonder what they're going to call a third one. Like, um... Radical Trip. Or... Or, um, uh, tubular, uh, I don't, I don't even know. Basically, adventure and journey are the, the, the two, they could call it vacation, I guess. Bill and Ted's National Lampoon's vacation number two. Actually, they've got more than that. Way more. Alright. These guys aren't having too bad of a time. Let's search this cell block. Get them all. Get them all. Oh, yeah. Prisoners are getting fed. Actually, let's uh, just uh, double check their their needs. Bowels. Why ain't you dudes pooping? Let's look at our regime just to make sure. Oh, that's not regime. Free time. Yeah, I'm going to change that to lock up. Because then they'll wake up and then they can poop and shower right in there. During free time, I feel like sometimes they're just like going to be little bitches and go out into the wilderness. I don't want that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Coming along. I need to make some more money. <sighs> so easy. 20,000 just, just waiting to be had. Just give it to me. Or somebody go into this goddamn carpentry program. Look at this. Zero interested. And it's, uh, I'm wondering why. Because I've never had... It takes so long. I've got carpentry tables. I mean, it's voluntary. I can't make them do it. And there are a lot of guys that have done the workshop safety induction. Why are you not interested in working with wood? Honestly, when I'm a super, not super rich, but, you know, richer and, and I've got tons of savings and all this stuff, 
and my RRSP has grown nicely. I would like to have my own little wood shop, workshop thingy, you know? I would love that with an old, like, wood stove. Oh, yeah. And I could have a keg in there or something. Just because. There's nothing safer than alcohol and power tools. Circular saws, table saws, band saws, planers. Those things are scary to me. I think a lot of things are scary to me. Alright, boys. Just make it. Just do it. And you guys... Pass. Puff, puff, pass. All right, we got 1,800. We can build a little more. Let's do... I just want to finish the walls. Also, utilities. I guess we can go... Go like that. 420, blaze it. See, $420. Let's do that. I don't know why I continued this wire like this. It's useless. Especially when I put up the walls, the wires can't go through the walls. They gotta go around the walls. Whatever, Trevor. Don't tell me what to do. We're making some bank, though. That's that's good. 12.1 days. See, people are happy. That's to me. That's the mark. You can be be like, yeah, I got a million dollars, but yeah, you also got a bunch of assholes who're shanking each other every day. I'm here to reform. I'm here to, you know, I want them to serve their time. To understand that they did a bad thing and to try to fix themselves without killing other people in the process. So this to me, days of the incident, that is my, you know, the highest accolade that I could shoot for. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Which would suck because if you like actually landed near a star, you'd just burn up into a crisp. And if you shot for the moon, if you hit the moon, I mean, if you might die, I guess it depends on your landing system and all that stuff. Sorry to be a little cynical or pessimistic. Just trying to save your life. It's no biggie. I don't know why I'm not using the clone tool for some of this stuff. It's fine. Getting there. So then, beds are 200 bucks, 200 times 20. You do the math, that's $4,000. Toys are like, what, 100 bucks or some bullshit? Yep. So that's $6,000. Each shower head is $20 times 20, so that's 400, so that's 6,400. Grates are $20, so that's 6,800 minus uh, 100. So 6700 And these doors are like, what, 200 bucks? Ah, uh, 200 So that's another 4000 So that's $10,700 to finish this. Plus, you know, whatever these walls are. I'm not going to calculate that. Plus a large jail door. That's 350 there. So that's basically $11,050. And then we've got... Uh, you know, if I want to put them in the servos, what are they, like 500 bucks a piece? 200, okay, that's a lot cheaper. That still has 4,000 more dollars. So we're up to $15,050. Plus another servo right there. So $15,250. Plus I feel like I'm forgetting maybe something else. Not really. Now somebody asked me, why do I put door servos on the, the, the jail doors? The jail doors automatically, like, open and close, like, you, you know, in the morning and stuff. But, um, you know, it's one of those things I don't want inmates just, like, going into their cells. Um... When they shouldn't be. But still, again, this kind of gets... Or when they shouldn't be, when I don't want them to. Basically, you know, I want them to have a little freedom, but I don't want them going to all sorts of places all the time because then it's harder for the guards to, like, monitor them and stuff. Um, but the thing is, it's just, like, it's not working. It just opens them. 
that's part of the game for a cell. It just, even though I've told the, the cell doors to be closed, they're always open during the day. So it's useless. The only thing that'd be good for is like during the night when I've told them, you know, when they're closed, I can have the servos open them for whatever reason, but that's useless. So, I mean, I guess that's a, this is my biggest mistake. Because I, uh, a while back when I first put them in, I was like, oh, it's like red, but they're still open. Like, that's some weird glitch. What's going on? And I was like, oh, it's just because of the weird daisy chain thing or whatever. But it just seems like the game is automatically, it doesn't, that's, all right. I guess I kind of, I've made the revelation here. See, now I'm allowing them to be open, but they'd be open regardless. Um, I can, so basically, I can control the jail doors on the cells to be open when the game would normally have them locked. But when the game normally has them open, I can't tell them to be locked. A little shitty, isn't it? Now, a bit of a complaint for me, but that's fine. Anyways, while I've been ranting, I got some more monies. Let's see if we can, oopsies, at least finish this concrete here. This concrete walls. And let's then put in some of these drains. Actually, we can put in all these drains. I mean, this is actually not a priority. Basically, the priority would be beds and toilets. Because you need that and the jail door to make a cell. But I don't want to have to do this later. Basically, when the cell is, like, ready to be inhabited, I want it to be fully loaded. Except we're not going to do the servos. We will do the servos on this, like, this door here. Because if that's closed, that's basically preventing the punk-ass bitches of getting to their cells anyways. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Just, just forget about it. It's just a lot of wasted money. You know, 4000 8000 12,000, 16,000 wasted on servos. You kiss your mother with that mouth? Alright. Materials. Let's just get the shower heads out of the way. We can do that with this amount of money. No problem. Do a few toilets as well. There we go. I could, you know, usually I actually put bookshelves in cells. I haven't been doing that here. That might them might make them even happier. I could, I could, I could consider that. But I spent all the money on those servos. I could dis. I might as well dismantle the servos at some point. And then I can use them as we expand for like these other like key doors and stuff that I do want servos on. But you know, whatever. No biggie. Pff. Pff. Corporation tax. I mean, that's... If I had $50,000, I'd like to do the offshore tax uh, upgrade. But does it look like I have $50,000? No. Mm, that's okay. <laughs> it's fine, guys. It's fine. If he dies, he dies. But I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I don't expect this prison to be perfect either. It's still, every time I do a prison, I learn new shit. And I think that is the key to playing most games. You know, as you play, you want to learn. But in particular, this game, you want to learn. You don't want to just keep building, like, the same prison over and over again and then make the same mistakes. And be like, oh, why am I making mistakes, right? There's a reason you're making mistakes. I know the game's not perfect. There is some flawed logic and, and stuff and bugs in the game. But overall, there are ways to get around most of these things and have well-behaved dudes. So, just throwing that out there, yo. No biggie. No biggie. What time is it? Three in the morning? Uh, shake down, motherfuckers. 
this is actually going to take a while because I'm starting at 3 in the morning. But I don't want just the, the cells searched. I want, I want the people searched too. Because they can walk through these metal detectors with wooden pickaxes. And wooden pickaxes, while slow, uh, do help them tunnel. Yeah. Don't think I'm not on to you. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to put in some toilets. So you can flush your shit down. And all your contraband. I, I wish there was a scheduler in the game. Uh, you know, you could do it similar to, like, the regime. But just call it, like, uh, administrative schedule or something, staff schedule, uh, management schedule. I don't really ca care what you call it. Or just call it schedule. Where you could say, and maybe, I don't know the best way to do it. If Maybe you had schedules. I think doing a uh, having a daily schedule is dumb because then you would be like, well, I want to schedule a shakedown, but I don't want to have a shakedown every single day kind of thing. So maybe the best thing would to have... Weekly schedules or monthly schedules? I think weekly would be an okay uh, kind of middle point. And then you could say, you know, on Mondays uh, at this time, and maybe every time you click on a day, then you can specify on, like, that day of the week you do shakedowns. Or maybe it's just, like, you know, shakedown on a, on a certain block or something like that. And, like, I don't know what other things you would want to schedule but uh, it might be a useful thing you can let me know in the comments of course I'm open to that why do I have a door here why is <laughs> who put this mother freaking door on this mother freaking plane right, these guys are gonna be a little pissed off because the shakedown is obviously still going on while they're going about their their stuff I'm not proud of it. I'm a little proud. It's for the greater good, guys. Ah, uh, look at they want to get in there. They gotta do their laundry. See this? I feel maybe I should connect this. There. Let's connect these because then when they're doing their work and shit these guys can open it I mean because if they're not opening it remotely remotely guards are just gonna come and open it for them so why wait they're gonna open the shit regardless you know it and I know it your mom might even know it <laughs> hey kid say out of your mother for me <laughs> all right what do we have all right we can start putting in some beds I think I got out of the toilets let's uh Put some beds. Uh, I wonder how many of these we'll be able to get. Just drag it. Quite a few. Actually, one. Oh, not quite all of them. Come on, just give me a little more juice. Come on, more juice. More juice. One more bed. That's it. Give me some bed juice. Give me, give me some bed juice. <laughs> what is bed juice? This probably comes from like bed bugs. They live on your blood. Do you like that? You like it? You just let you're gonna let those little suckers hiding in your bed feed on your blood wh while you're sleeping. Look at all this stuff found. Three drills, six hammers, four screws, drivers, two saws, some poison, six poison. Why? Do you hate each other so much? Three needles and a partridge and a baton and a pear tree. Okay, guards, you can't be letting them take this stuff from you. It's not cool. Uh-uh. And finish your goddamn search. I guess I did fire a bunch of the dudes. What? It's right there. It's easy. What's taking you so long? I think I searched that one stack. 520. Blaze it. Put the beds in. Guys, I'm getting a little disappointed. Is there anybody in here? Oh. No. Okay. And he's actually ready to come out. 
He's ready to come out of the solitary closet. How many? Two awaiting solitary confinement. I feel like it should be more if that much stuff was found. Where was. Uh, I guess it depends where the stuff was found. Uh, shows all locations around your prison that contraband could be stolen from. You know, I never really make use of this, but, uh, I mean. Alright. So this makes sense. Drugs, narcotics. Narcotics, like, smelly. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a dog in here. Dogs can smell this good shit, right? Uh, how many dog handlers do I actually have? Apparently none. What are you... What are you talking about, Mike? Did I somehow, like, fire them last time? Is that a thing I did? Why is it... Blocked. Why did it say blocked? Whatever. Let's look at our deployment. Dog patrols. Um, I actually want you to patrol in here. Petroleum jelly. I'm going to need another. Or just to remove. I'm going to remove you from here. And this is kind of getting cut off. This is useless. We'll fix these later. I'll do it. I mean, I didn't even have guys sniffing there. I don't know what happened to my other dog handlers, to be honest. I don't think I fired them. But, I mean, I guess it, it happens. Wait. You're... Go in there, motherfucker. I guess he's just tired. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's uh, it's fine. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Okay, what do we have left to do? We gotta get these doors on. I wanted to finish this. Two hundred bucks down the drain. On the drain. Two hundred bucks on the drain. I'm all in. Barry, you can't be all in with a jail door. We nobody wants to bet. You know, with the jail door. If I win this hand, what what am I gonna do with this jail door? I just won from you, Barry. What am I gonna do? Build a prison? It's a good thing I just happen to have a prison that's got a shortage of one jail door, Barry. God damn it, Barry! Always betting jail doors. You think you're so funny just because you went to clown college? I think the clown college learned a thing from you because you're such a clown. Actually, let's look back at the, uh, uh, oops, these dangers. I'm gonna look at some of this other stuff. Poison. How could you get weapons improvise? How could you, how could you, get, I guess you could get a club from the, from the mops and stuff. That makes sense. You know, the best way to limit this stuff is just, like, not let guys work in the cleaning cupboard. Not let guys work in the kitchen. Not let guys work in uh, the workshop. You know, storage is a big one. Um, infirmary. You know, when they go in there, they can get this stuff, I guess, from the office here. Wow. Interesting. I should pay attention to this stuff more. I mean, th and these things, this is just off limits, except for the vegetation, right? If I go to my deployment. Yeah. I still got to build the maximum wing, maximum security wing, which I will do, of course. All right, look at this. 14.7 days. We have not had any incidents in this video at all. Knock on wood. Good thing my desk is actually made in solid pine. It's nice. I've actually been thinking about for a while getting a, a new desk. I don't mind. I mean, the top is okay, but the legs... I don't like the legs. It's just the whole general form of the desk. You know, it's very simple. It's the top and then the four metal legs. Um, I know. I just... If you saw it... I mean, it's okay. I'm not complaining. 
the top. I do actually like the top, but in the long term, it's not it's not an ideal. I actually want to build my own desk. Um, I this is something I've been wanting to do for years and years. Uh, I used to kind of doodle up on graph paper. Uh, what what desk I wanted to to design and build? Cause I am was so cool, and I'm still so cool. I, know, I was just always I always like that kind of stuff, but I think it's I think it's good to build stuff with your hands. You appreciate it more. It's got more sentimental value. And usually, when you build your own things, like they just generally have more value because it's not like mass produced, and you're maybe gonna put a little more time and effort into it. People like handmade stuff. They pay more money for it. It's like handmade bread. Like, oh my god, I'll give you ten dollars for that. It could be the same level as Wonder Bread, but they're kind of like, wow, I'm sticking it to the man. I'm not giving Wonder Bread my, you know, dollar eighty-five. I'm gonna pay ten dollars for your handmade shit bread. You can literally be shitting it, and people will still pay ten dollars for it. Like, well, it's all natural. Shit's all natural. Of course, I'm gonna pay ten dollars for it. It's sh it's shit. It came from human. It's handmade. It was butt made. And it's, I guess it's kind of it's made in your like intestines and stuff or whatever. It just kind of comes out of your butt. Nothing's really made in your butt. Sometimes I make lemonade in Ryan's butt though. That's the only exception. <laughs> oh, in his chocolate factory, I make lemonade. Yeah, try and get that image out of your head. You're, uh, you might as well just sear your inner eye with a, a, a burner. Just take your inner eye and imagine it being like... I don't. What does an inner eye actually look like? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not talking about like the inside of your eyes or one of your eyes. Like, you know, the eye in your... When you close your eyes and you're in your brain and you're like imagining things... That's a cool thing is like in my brain I can replay like you know a song from somebody and it sounds exactly like them but if I try and sing it I can't do it my brain's so much better than me my inner eye too is like close my eyes and I think of some boobies right and like oh those look like boobs but if you go to draw boobs most people can't draw boobs so well guys I'm, I'm getting a little disappointed. Okay, and I'm also... Uh, make a little more money, please. Got two more doors there. Two more doors. Give me some money. I mean, I'm, I'm my cash flow in this episode... It's gone up a fair bit. Just from the incident thingies. I don't want to rely on that. Because then when there's an incident, you're like... Oh, I make so little money now. This is why I want to get the forestry going. But, uh... You know... You dim some, you lose some. That's what I always say. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna put the one servo. And it's gonna go here. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut oh, we missed a bed? How did you guys miss a bed? How'd you do that? How did you do that? How? How did you do that? Did I do that? Alright, we got this guy in here. Smell them drugs. I want you sticking your snout up every ass crack this side of Texas. We're not in Texas. This prison's in Canada. Canada actually has a fair amount of correctional facilities. The greater Kingston area uh, has, like, the most in North America, like, per capita. Or, I don't know. Or, I don't know. It's like, how do you say, like, per capita? I guess it might be, like, based on the actual population of the area. A lot of people, like, get sent there and stuff. Maybe it's not per capita. That's just the way I remember. But there's, like, it's, like, the most somehow. There's, like, seven or nine correctional facilities of various sizes and, and security levels um, in the greater area. It's kind of cool, I think. It could be way wrong. I mean, that's something I learned or heard or was told when I was younger. Could have changed. Maybe it was a lie to begin with. I've been living a lie my whole life. Living a lie. Ah, 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 ah. Living a lie. Living a lie. Ha, 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 ha. Living a lie. 
Okay. So I'm not going to do that. I know that's probably really annoying because I can't sing. My inner eye can sing, though. All right, we're good, uh, I think. I'm going to find out pretty soon. Money in the bank, bitches. There we go. Let's do the shower up. There we go. And then let's connect this door servo to, well, first of all, to this guy. And then let's just undo this. Oopsies. And then just double check. Um, what's that guy connected to? Why is it open during, what? Shower and work. Why would it be open during shower? I don't really know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't care right now, to be honest. This guy. All right. And 5 a.m. That is fudged. Clearly, I was doing some things at some point. Nice. So now it's it's open because I told it to be open. Uh, 101 Dalmatians. We got, alright. Protected, wait, only capacity, okay, capacity. Kiss me, you fool. Uh, deployment. For now, I'm just gonna make... Wait a minute. What is so different about this motherfucker? This is kind of cool, to be honest. I don't... Why is this different? Than all these other... Dudes. I can't make it, these cells individual. Is that... Ow! Now, Barry! Oh, it changed on me. That was stupid. I was gonna do like... 10 maximum security up top and then uh, the rest could be medium but no whatever Trevor it's fine it's fine so how much money we got 22,000 I like that I like it a lot what like honestly what I don't understand wait uh, deployment Here's what I'm gonna do. There. I feel like the 70 family. I don't. I don't get that. At all. Oh, maybe this is why. This could very well be why. And also, what I don't get. These guys don't seem to give a shit that there's 70 families waiting to visit. Um, but I'm gonna do. Where's my fence? That's in materials, of course. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. Objects. Uh, here we'll just do a staff door. I don't really care because it, it's not leading anywhere except for this door. Uh, and then they could go in and kill all my staff. I'll change out these doors at some. I'll probably make this like a remote door. Or something funky. Um, and then... For this one, we'll do a large jail door. And utilities. <laughs> you said titties. <laughs> I said utilities. Uh, I can't see the door. Alright, yeah, we'll put it there. And then... We'll hook it up. Hook it up. Hook it up. Whoa. Now we can. Not that. Dang it, Bobby. Actually, we're doing this. Tasers. Maybe that's why things have been so well behaved. Because people aren't getting tased. They're like, I feel kind of safe. Nobody's tasing me in the genitals. This is what I want to do. That can be shared. And then this can be staff. 
And that could be staff. Oh, saving. And then now, maybe they can go out there. I mean, I guess it's sort of shared. Oh no, utilities. There we go. Gotta have power. First we get the money. Then we get the woman. Then we get the power. Okay. Let's see. 69 families waiting to visit. I don't know if somebody visited and I just didn't notice. Or one of the families waiting to visit just died. Or whatever. Or like the inmate is gone now. Hey, we got 60... Look at that. 69 prisoners, 69 families waiting to visit. So one of the prisoners is gone, so his family doesn't give a shit about visiting now. Um, I'm just a little confused. Why are people not visiting? Seriously. Somebody want to tell me? Do I need to make it, like, I don't know. Good people were visiting before. Right? I'm, I'm concerned. I want them to see their families. What's the deal? Vis visitation, I got visitor tables. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Everybody get up. Bump, bump. See, I, I think the issue was because this area was marked staff only. So basically, once prisoners come in, they're not allowed to go back out. Um, previously, I don't know if that was an issue or not. I've always kind of made this area here, um, you know medium security or, or shared or whatever the heck it was um, by default I guess I just forgot to do it here but that explains why that you know the prisoners couldn't come in here so the people couldn't visit that's that's good though oh and uh, connect to that guy there you go there you go Look at this, the little, every time it goes yellow, he's like opening some shit. Just think of every time that light blinked, you had to wait for a guard to go and open it. This guy is worth his weight in gold. He's all, he's really fat. Or she, you know. Uh, I shouldn't assume it's a fat guy. <laughs> They're, you know, but, uh, I think that's, if I had like kind of tips and tricks sort of thing, which I'll have more of the more I play, but... I think that's a big thing. Get early on, get door system, get servos, get uh, comfortable with using them. They're not difficult to use, to be honest. Um, and then there's a few key doors you can have uh, hooked up to the door control so you don't have to have as many guards running around and stuff. Because that costs a lot of money, takes time, and like it's going to allow congestion to build up. Okay, see, so now look at this. Just, there you go. There we go. Now... For all the time that, you know, these families weren't visiting, uh, that probably helped a lot with the contraband. It's going to be fun. Oh, hey, stop in the name of the law. I swear to God, I thought I had a metal detector here. This is not cool. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. We definitely, definitely, absolutely, positively, lootly, tootly, Need a metal detector. 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 It's gonna detect titties. Sorry for being so lewd and vulgar and vile. Um, I'm also gonna open up for a few more prisoners. Oh shit, is somebody in, uh, not deployment, contraband. Tough and insecure. You bitch. I told you, Steven. That's his name, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's his name. 
told you you were going to be a problem. You watch your back. There we go. All right. You better not beep, you little kids. You better not be carrying drugs up your bum. Don't think because you're a kid I'm going to let you get away with it. Um, you know what? I'm also going to be a good guy. And just do this shit. So the guard that's in there can just basically chill the F out. You know, if stuff goes down, he can handle it. But these guys can open the door. I'm such a good guy. Aren't I such a good guy? Should we do, uh... Another shakedown? Or just, uh, search a cell block. Let's just search a cell block. And connect you. That guy. Bam. So about the little things. Making them a little more efficient. Alright, alright. You're bringing in some dudes in here. Happy to see that. You boys are going to get searched so hard. Look at this. Steel. His name is Steel. I don't have any informants. And I really want informants. I just also want to know. We got snitches and... So, I mean, it's okay. Like, see, it's kind of like... Uh, I don't know. It's like, I don't have confidential informants because there's not a lot of guys going into solitary. Which either means I'm not catching them or they're just, in general, fairly well behaved. There's four awaiting solitary, so... I mean, that actually kind of makes me feel okay. Because, you know, I'm catching them. This guy, he ain't gonna be no snitch. This guy ain't gonna be no snitch. Nope. Fine. Oh, that guy's going in. You taking a shower there, mate? DeFalco. Scott White. Scott got poop in his underpants. That's right. <laughs> That's white. I'm just doing this just to make sure, like, updates in case. None of you guys really free donuts every time you tell me some good stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Experience. Recruit. Coverage, 29%. James, Dylan, you've been here a while, ain't ya? Ain't ya? Oh, 15 days. Well, that's, you know, a quarter of the time. Let's, uh, activate him. Oh, right by the tough instigator. Oof. 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 Alright. Two prisoners are due for release soon. Alex Busby, Busby, and no, oh, that other guy. Whoa! Look at the. the hey, what is? Do you guys color coordinate when you? Oh, pause it. Let's check these guys. Fearless. That's not. Look at. He looks like a grim, grim reaper. All right, Adam, Matt, Andrew, uh, Gareth. Your name's Gareth. This guy, Paul Green. And, uh, so we don't have any snitches or anything yet. Fine. So be it. Fearless, quick, fearless, fearless, tough, strong, extremely strong, tough instigator. So what you gotta watch out, instigators. I don't want him starting a food fight. A delicious food fight. You eat the bacon, don't throw it. That's right, Steven. Oh, I thought that was Steven. That's Paul. Paul Martin. It's Canadian Prime Minister Paul Martin? What? I thought you used to be white. This guy is not white. And he's dirt. Oh, he took his clothes off. <laughs> there you go. Paul Martin, you're a good guy. Uh, capacity, I should be looking. Oh, you know what? Since I got some money and I have a tendency sometimes to, uh, forget. Let's add, whoopsies. 
add some of these before it's too late. Oh. That guy's gonna be maxed out soon. This guy's still got a ways to go. So we can jumble some of the wires around. The electrical cables. Alright, alright, alright. Hmm. <laughs> that ironing board. <laughs> he just wants to do his job. This area is dark. What I'm going to do here is this, just like I've done with the other ones. Light it up, suckers. We're at 75 out of 101. Whoa, 15 prisoners have passed. Tits, yes. I still need to produce some beds. Let's check if there's anybody who wants to to learn about, um, right. Huh. All right, fine. There's eight in queue, but alcoholics. I really need to get that shit sorted out. Wait, carpentry, zero, I don't get this. Why? I don't get it at all. Somebody build some shit. Advanced practical voluntary. Each prison requires a carpenter table. Session length two hours up by foreman and workshop. Carpenter table. Carpenter table. You tell me. Guys, tell me. Common room. I mean. Oh. Guard taser. Wait, where did that one go? Nice. Got five in queue. I guess I could start another one. There we go. Let's get them all in. <sighs> Deployment. Let's look at our job situation. Jobs. Max jobs. Might as well. Add that. There we go. We'll add uh, the four hopefully qualified dudes to go and work in there. And then I think... Uh, okay, why? 15 of the guard... They're all of the guards are... What? Uh, did I miss something here? 18 days without incident. Why are they... Excuse me. Excuse me. Why are there so many hearses? Uh, I'm a little confused. To be honest. So this guy's dead. Dean Seven Iron McCabe. Dean. Dean, Dean, Dean. Um, I mean, so if there wasn't an incident, it basically, well, he died of what? He's 43. He only had 24% reoffending chance. Now he's under the toilet. Bah, poor guy. Punishment 10, that's pretty good. Reform 6 is okay. Security 5 is pretty awesome. Health. Um, one active addictions. Okay. Uh, it could be, I don't know if it's like alcohol or what. Wouldn't be surprised if it's alcohol because I'm not, haven't been able to help dudes. Oh, he failed his treatment for drug addiction. He also failed workshop. But you passed, you know, one for three is not so bad. Sorry, sorry, Dean. Sorry, Dean. All right. Uh, there were more hearses, though, so I'm kind of wondering where all the deaths are at. Like, is this some weird glitch in the Matrix? Also, anybody want to be... Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? 
Can you just take him away? I, like, what is this? This is, I'm confused. Guards. All right, here's what, here's what you're going to do. Search a fucking cell. I mean, are they just sending hearses until this guy's picked up? Also, deployment. Uh, I need to do... This is weird. When did this happen? There we go. I don't give a shit about that. I want this. I do have to work. I mean, I should have guys patrolling more than this. But things have been okay. That doesn't mean they're gonna continue to be okay. I don't. I don't wanna. I don't wanna have that. All right. Here's my issue. To do store prisoner in hearse. So why don't you just do that? Um, could you just do that? How long has he been dead? How long has he been dead for? <laughs> Is this just something you des decide to not do? Workmen. Pick them up. There. I don't like to have to manually... Open the door. Hey! What the... F what the F? What are you... What are you doing? Workmen. You. Take him away. Take him away. Is it, okay. Guard? Guard? Somebody. Why is the chief in here? Oh, he's doing the taser thing. I know I could build a morgue. I don't want to have to build a morgue. I mean, it's not like I have that many dead bodies. Can you just do something about it? Like, this is actually kind of bothering me a little bit. Also, pause it. And we're going to do this for a little bit. So I don't uh, forget about it when I next play this game. Oh, normal clothes. Andrew Brown. You think you're fancy with your... Your... Nice designer shirt. Tim. John Corner. Okay. Cleo. Scott. Dominic. Edward Blackbeard. You're twenty years old and you got a you got a full bushy black beard. Kinda wish I had a full bushy black beard. Uh Maybe if I just build a morgue, it'll make everything better. I don't really want to. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, rooms. You go like this. Where's my morgue? Indoors, morgue slab. Let's go foundations. Concrete. Sure, let's just go like this. And objects, staff door, bam, and then we'll put a door like this, and we'll put a servo above it. There we go. And then they can just like walk the bodies out there, I guess. If you could do that, that'd be great. Go. Do it. He's gonna start to rot. Oh. Yeah, I already checked these guys. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> okay, we'll build this. Hopefully, they're gonna just put the body in there until somebody decides to carry it out. 
Uh, also, before I forget, so saving connect, 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 connect. There you go. And objects, morgue slab, 100 bucks. All right, we'll put a we'll put a couple in here, a few. There you go. Should be fine. Put that shit in there. Put that body in there. Doctor. Doctor, doctor. Give me the news. I got a bad case of love in Hugh. I just want them to go and pick him up. Where's one of these assholes? Why don't you go and pick him up? Somebody just do it. M okay, I'm going to stop complaining. It is what it is. Uh, I'm doing something wrong, obviously, and I'm not uh, thinking so well in my late night sleep-deprived mind. You guys don't want to squeal on somebody? All right, here, let's, do, let's activate this fucker. Let's activate him. We're 91 of 101. Starting to roll in the little does. 18.7 days without incidents. Not too shabby. And... What else is going on? Oh, I wanted to check how many people are in the GED. Four. Alright. Good. And it's coming to, uh... To an end. Sort of. Nobody wants to do... The oh yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, carpentry, thank you. So then I can get these stupid ten superior beds out of the way. Please pass. Please pass. Okay, is there just um something I'm not doing right? There we go. Search the dead body. Move. Ah! He's dead. He is dead. D E D dead. <laughs> I know it's D E A D. Hey, 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 hey! You're taking a shit in another man's face. You can't do that. Wait. Stop. Pause it. Blackbeard. You can't do that. You're going to solitary for 24 freaking hours. All right, buddy? You're only in here for two years, and I probably, like, have just made you so jaded and bitter. Like, what? It's not normal to take a shit on a dead man's face? Smear it all over his glasses? I'm Johnny Boy Blackbeard. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love how the, the lights over the toilet just make it look like the toilet has got pee in it. It doesn't. Uh. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to hire. One, two, three, four, five. And some workmen. One, two, three, four. If somebody wants to move the dead body, I'd be okay with that. It's starting to reek up in here, and maybe it's not that good for the health of the people in this prison. Look at this shit! He's just hanging out. Gar Gareth. I almost called you. Gareth Bird is now Garth Brooks. The thing is, like, uh, you know, I just don't understand 
why nobody's moving him. Oh, he... yeah, Blackbeard. That's good. I should put more people in prison. <laughs> or in solitary. So that they, uh, mood. Of course he's in a bad mood. He's got a unibrow. That they... Hey! Yes! They moved him! Gareth Bird finally was like, Yo! There's a dead guy in here! He's dead! Did they... Alright, now this is just silly. What are you boys doing here? There's no other dead people. I don't see any dead people. Do you see also... Uh, deployment. Guard patrols. Where? Oh, he was probably on. Whoa! This is a guy with a gun. Did I say for you to be there? No. But what I did say is... Wait. Get rid of this. What's going on here, boys? Why aren't you, uh... Why is nobody doing shit? They six free guards. You should be doing that stuff. Got armed guards. So I think what we're going to do... Where do I want to put the armed guard? Hmm. Let's just put them here. For now. There we go. Alright, there. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. Alright, these guys are slowly going away. I don't quite know why this is happening. <laughs> Excuse me. A little hiccup. But it's fine. How many days? 19.5. Exports. Let's check our... Grrr, not our grants, our programs again. Got a lot of guys. Uh, all right, our foundation education program pass rate is used to be 60 some percent. Now it's uh, below 50. Workshop though, couple guys there. This guy, all right, you're gonna be my savior. I want you to make me some delicious beds, and then we'll start a forestry. Give you some good quality wood. Uh, 16 in queue. So why is nobody doing it? Why? It's weird. But it is what it is. Um, a lot of people are interested in kitchen. And I really need to get alcoholic stuff going. Hmm. I gotta decide. Where do I want to put... Because I was thinking about putting a more centralized canteen right here. Maybe moving the kitchen. I might just... I don't know. I might just expand it a little bit, um, and then, because I thought about making this whole area like a big ass workshop right here instead, and then I can make like another classroom right here, and fix this, so I can expand the kitchen a bit here, or just decide to move it over here, doesn't really matter, how much money do I have, whatever, you know what, uh, I'm going to save any more structural stuff till the next episode. We've gone on for a little while. Let's just do a shizzle zake down. Shizzle zake down. Contraband. Wait, informants. Let's watch this suspicion. All right, it's not so bad. I activate both both of these dudes. Get to work. Search his asshole. Mm, Paul Martin. That's right. How many? One awaiting solitary. This is always a good test. Like, all right, we got 90 inmates. What's our, what's, you know, our percentage of inmates searched to how many end up going in solitary? Let's set a, let's set a baseline right now. 
we'll see. So we got 90, 3, 4 are going in. 6. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. All these damn visitors bringing shit in. Where's your son now? That's right. Get the F out of here. He's getting his butt searched. 8 out of 90. 9 out of 90. Ooh. Ooh. That's 10%. Oh, now we lost somebody. Did they get released? Maybe. We'll just still go 9 out of 90. For 10% of the population. I think that's bad. Uh, actually, that's not that bad, is it? This is a little. This is a little bad. What are they? What are they finding though? I should check contraband in the last 24 hours. Cigarettes. Whoa. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is pretty pretty cool. I've actually never ever ever noticed this before. Is this newer? So. It was smuggled. It was smuggled from the road. I don't know. It doesn't say if it was like a visitor or whatever. No. Well, if it was a visitor, no. So it came in on a shipment. Um, came in through there. Oh, it came in as food. And then it was kind of passed around. Somebody, one of the cooks brought it in to the canteen. And then it worked its way around a bit. This guy smuggled in. The, look at look at that shit. Somehow it came in from the visitor. Why? That's a weird route, though. This knife. Oh, my goodness. Sigs. A lot of stuff is getting smuggled in. This is taken from the infirmary. This is cool. I'm going to try and make some more use of this. Booze. Oh, that. Oh, smoke. Visitation. I don't know if the dog is just not smelling this shit. It's probably useless. Uh, what other ways can I get around stuff getting smuggled in the visitation? That's a good question. That's a good question. I wish you could do like a pat down. Why can't they do a pat down of visitors? Oh, I'm sorry. You've got a freaking two six of vodka. Cheap, cheap vodka. Well, it's cheap vodka. Let's. I guess I'll let you smuggle it in. It's bullshit. It's utter bullshit. Two wooden pickaxes. All right. Actually, let me check this. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, I gotta check for very strong. We got any snitches? Quick, fearless. No snitches or anything like that. This guy's active too. He's telling us all the juicy, juicy bits. Or he will be soon. I can I just kind of want to find like a. Sn Snitch or something, or somebody marked for death. Let's spice things up a little bit, eh, boys? Hi, hey, boys. Contraband. Wait. Inf oh, okay. So we found some more places to search, apparently. All right. I don't know how that's going to work. Search cell. I mean, they just, they just did. They're just. They're still searching. That's the the thing. They they miss must have missed some stuff. <sighs> ah, they're almost done anyways. It's fine. How many dudes? One, four waiting. Two. I've lost track of our percentage. Probably like twenty percent of the population or something like that. Something really silly and dumb like that. This guy's suspicion is fucked. James, I'm sorry, dude. You're gonna get killed. This guy's an instigator. 
Yeah, you think you're going to get normal security? See, the thing is, there's not really any difference between my maximum security and my minimum security right now. Um, other than, actually, let's just check my deployment. You know, maximum can't work laundry. I don't think. And workshop and shit like that, but. Sometimes the game defies these. I don't Are there actually any? No. Alright, fine. Just keep checking. One step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. We gotta check this cell. Oopsies. Search it. He's got cigarettes. What? What's been arranged? What, like, what do you... Like, somebody could get their head bashed in? Is that where you're, is that where you're hinting at? Okay, search this cell. I'll search this one. Did you not search this one? Maybe it's new. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, oh, 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 oh. I should put him back in. Put him back in. Let's just put him back in. Punish. Six more hours. There you go. Oh, wait, wait. He reactivated. Sorry, buddy. Um... Recruit. Yeah. 13%. That's a little shitty, but so be it. Oh. Yeah, search that guy. He's got a fucking hammer on him. Arranged. What is arranged? A lighter is arranged? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't even know. This guy's still hanging out there. He's comfortable. That's important. Just finish your shakedown. It's been eons. I, I'm still surprised, actually, to be honest with you. 20, 21 days without incident. Contraband. Let's check it. Like, this is this is what I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, what? Say what? You're not going to search this shit, are you? You want to search it? Again? So you're not going to miss anything? What about this? Search it? Um, if... Actually, I've never... Like, I'm confused about this whole arranged. That's what I really don't get. Like, is it... Like, they're basically saying, like, smuggle a lighter in? Because the other one was a hammer? Like... Smuggle a hammer in. It's a range that they're gonna smuggle. Like, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. This guy, dude, uh, he's got a lighter. Okay, I can see it. I'm gonna burn your house down. Whoa! What just? Hey! Did that guy escape? Or was he allowed to... Was he allowed to leave? He's allowed to leave. He just walked out the front door. Shut the front door! What are we at? 86? Yeah, I guess uh, we used to have like 90. Guess, uh people leave. It happens in a prison. Five prisoners pass a general education. So we got two. That's good. This guy's still in it. Got uh, one interested slash qualified. Hmm. 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 I don't know why I haven't. Well, I know why I haven't, because I gotta. I wanna build a proper common room. 
Uh, oh, no. Oh, I wanted to see if he wants to squeal. I'll activate you. Activate you. Um, this guy is fucking dead. Seriously. He is dead. I know I'm not activating them at the right time, but... Yeah. It's fine. If they die, they die. I'll just put them in. The, oh, I should put them in protective custody. No, that's bad. Cause then he, then they'll really be like, "Whoa, this guy's getting the royal treatment," and then they'll really want to kill him. Scott, you gotta straighten yourself out, buddy. All right. Feeling okay? I'm gonna check the general needs. It's good to do that. Food. I feel yeah. Maybe I'll. I at some point I gotta switch up the. The food, maybe give them three meals. Or it could just be the quality. Maybe the... Uh-oh. Wait, let me check something here. No? Okay. Coverage is z zero. Why is it zero? He's dead. I knew it! I fucking knew it! No, I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm so sorry, mostly because I lost all the money because uh, I went from 21, 22 days without incident. You little snitch. It's good to see that they're uh, actually putting them in there rather than just letting a guy rot in his cell. Uh, it's kind of fun. I see it's good though. I mean, I'm still making money though. That's uh, I'm happy about that. I'll get my... Days without incident, hopefully up a little bit. Uh, so that's fine. These guys are still okay, but their coverage is not as good as, as James. That's uh, why I'm kind of sad to see him go. But these guys, I doubt any of you will want to be. Can a uh, maximum security, like, I'm pretty sure just maximum security guys don't want to be uh, snitches. Right, they'd rather kill a dude. Look at this guy. Look at, look at him. He looks sexy. He's gotta be one of the one of the devs. They have or something. I don't know why they're more resolution and better looking. This Aaron Ooch Saunders. Scott selling MDMA and cannabis at a rave after hugging a police officer and dancing on top of a police car. Nine years for carjacking. That's what requires uh, a sentence for carjacking, just dancing on top of a car. That's how it works. You are a confidential informant, so why? Well, there's suspicions going down, so that's good. Huh. All right. 420, blaze it. 84. We can start accepting some more guys, but I'm going to start doing that next episode. For now, I'm going to do a little bit of a stretch. No. I'm going to go and save it before I forget. Save prison, Fox Hill. Save. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, again, you know, I probably asked for feedback or something throughout this and had a few questions and stuff. So, Comments. I like comments in general. Please comment. Let's chat in the comment section. Uh, if you have any suggestions and stuff, that's cool. Of course, keep in mind that this is kind of just like a temporary prison. You know, I want to make it good and, and expand it and stuff like that. But uh, at some point, I will sell it and make like a much better prison given, you know, the knowledge. Again, every prison I do, I learn some more nifty things. And as well, Alpha 26 has uh, released in the middle of this prison build. So, you know, that's going to change some things as well, which may change how I design prisons and stuff once I kind of commit to memory all the changes that they made in Alpha 26. It was mostly just bug fixes and stuff like that. But sometimes with these games, you have to actually have workarounds for the bugs so that they're not really affecting your game. 
So if they fix the bug, then you can re remove the workaround, which is always fun. Workarounds aren't 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 fun. Look at this; these guys all piling in here. Eventually, uh, another thing that I'm going to do, I actually should have done it now, is just staggering the regime of the medium security and the maximum security. Hey, excuse me, I'm yelling. That way. Um, you know, I'll just have the medium security eating, and then when they're done and going out to, you know, work or whatever the next period is, then the maximum security can come in and eat, or vice versa, um, and things like that, just so I can reduce their interaction with one another. I mean, it's, you can see here I've got two separate yards for them, two different infirmaries and things. Eventually, I'm going to have just like a straight up maximum security wing, um, that's going to be isolated, I think, for the most part. They may, sh um, if I move the canteen, they may share it. But then again, you know, not being there at the same time. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, it's cool. I like it. Uh, I hope you guys that are playing this uh, are getting to check out Alpha 26 and just see some of the changes and and all that good stuff. And yeah. Uh, also, I think today it was like 67% off. Uh, on the Steam store to buy this game. So go and check. I don't know if that sale's still on, but uh, that's a pretty good deal to get uh, to get some money off on this game. So anyways, I will check you guys out in the next episode. Until then, peace out.